Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. And I want to help you add some Python to your skill set. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, I'm following you to learn more about PLC programming, but Python is a language like ladder logic, like function block, like structured text. It's just another language, another way to execute code. We're going to talk about Python because if you added this skill set, um, to uh, this this program language to your skill set, what you will find is a lot. Your potential for employment explodes. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a glance at what Python looks like, what it is, uh, and it's and it's just a basic application. Then what I want to do is share share with you how the bridge between this new language and industrial automation controls and how you can take advantage of this, learning this skill set. All right, put you at a very high level um, and compared to other your your uh, competitors for the same job, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Right here, I got a couple of screens open here. <laughs> let's close that out. All right, and I got a couple of screens here. All right, so what we've got here is just some code. Now, what, what did I did? What I did is I just went here to this website, Python program to swap two elements in a list, and I literally, literally, not literally, I went here and copied this code, right, and I pasted it in this shell. Simple as that. Okay. Now, I'll go ahead and close that. So that's all I did. All right. Now, the driver function. So in the list, I'm going to I'm going to put a couple of numbers here, and you'll see what I'm going to do. All right. Let's put 100. Um, we'll just put 200, 300, and 400. Okay. Now there's my code. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit run, run the module, source must be saved, okay. Now what we did here is, if you'll notice, um, I've swapped the code. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. List position one, two, three, uh, one, two, two, and one, all right? So position one, position two equals one and three. So what I did is, if you'll notice, I switched the position of one and three, simple as that. Position one, position two equals one and three. That's that's essentially what I did. That's it. A small piece of code. Now you say, "Well, that's pretty simple." Now here's a, here's the interesting thing, right? I can go to various websites and I can pick different code, right? Reversing a list. I can come here and copy and paste this code, right? And I can execute that code. In this case, I'm reversing the list, right? I'm going to go ahead and so our driver, so our list is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to run that module. I've not done this before, and I'm not an expert at Python, by the way. But you'll notice what I did, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so what it is, how we can utilize it. And there are literally tens of thousands of uh, places to get code to, to execute. Okay, um, a task. All right. So, how does that fit in for a new entry level or beginner PLC programmer, automation professional, engineer, or technician? We're going to talk about that right now. So, um, all right. We're going to start with um, Robo DK. So, we can literally program robots, and there are many robots that are that are that are programmed using Python. Okay. We can use RoboDK to, to program a robot using Python. Now, in RoboDK, you can um, program ABB, uh, Rapids, uh, uh, Robotics, Fanic, KUKA, Motorman, Universal Robots, all of them using this one software. Now, it is great, right? So let's take a look at this. So you're going to select a robot from a library of cross-platform robots. Very cool. Um, and you're going to define your tool. Okay, shows you right here exactly how to do it. Define your tool. Get set your your tool center point, right? TCP. Load the 3D module or model, right? You're going to load it, 
and set it up. And then you're going to simulate the toolpath and you're going to generate the robot programs, right? That That's really, that's it. I don't have this program uh, downloaded. I have used it in the past though. But that's it. And you'll see that you can use a cross-platform languages to program this robot to include Python. Now, the great thing about it is there's like a 30 or 60 day free trial here. And pricing is high for beginners. But for those in the intermediate, it's only a couple thousand dollars. So most certainly very doable compared to uh, to um, FANUC or ABB RoboGuide or, or Robo Studio. Uh, which are in tens of thousands of dollars for that software. So this is a great lower, much lower cost platform to do what you want to try. Now, you say, well, that's kind of cool, Paul. I, I get it. And I see that. And I'm going to have to go to that website. I'm going to have to try that out. But, you know, will I really use this in the real world? How viable is this? Well, let's take a look at this. So Kinesics, right, uh, uses Python to build HMI screens. Yes, HMI screen. So you can build HMI. With Python, you can, you can create reports. You can create executable code. You can create, um, interactive code for HMI, uh, um, using web browser. There's just a ton of stuff that you can do with this language, right? So you say, yeah, that's still kind of cool. I get it, but come on, Paul, really? So here's what we're going to, let's, let's say, who, who uses this? Well, I don't know about you, but, I give a lot of credibility to organizations like NASA. All right. They use this software. John Hopkins University. John Hopkins, a medical university, by the way. NASA, Lockheed Martin, um, uh, the Canadian Space Agency. Uh, so I would say, hey, there's something here, man. These guys are using this, this, um, using Python for, for, uh, building HMIs. This company, there's something here. There's something you could take a look at. And so once you gain that Python skill set, right, then the, uh, the, the, the goal here is to build some projects and you can build an HMI, you can program robotics. And what that's going to do is add that to your portfolio. It's going to make you incredibly, uh, a, an incredibly strong portfolio and an awesome, um, a candidate for any automation, uh, engineering or technician position no doubt about it because you're going to be able to demonstrate this this multi-function skill set using python you can be able to generate reports build hmis program robotics executable files all kinds of stuff and that's what i just wanted to kind of introduce you to this this um this potential i would say the place to go is python.org that's a place you can get started to install the software um, and start playing around with it. Start looking for sample uh, Python code. This place here is 25 uh, at Skill Crush, 25 Python programming examples. And let's take a look. So remove duplicates function. Magic eight ball, kind of a weird little thing there. Big Latin. Uh, but they also use Python to send email. Um, as you start working with scripting languages like Python or JavaScript, you realize what an important role they play in a lot of the web functions we take for granted. Emails are a perfect example. Business emails reply on automation. When a user signs up for a product on your site, for instance, you want them to receive a confirmation email. But you don't want to be scheduling sending out uh, each of those emails by hand. Developers use scripting languages. Now, maybe that's not something that you can use at this moment, but you could uh, program this and use it as an example of what you're capable of doing. All right. Again, uh, don't just copy and paste. Try to create. Uh, once you learn this and you try a few things, really learn how to write the code and create some some uh, projects that are that are entirely all you that you're just not going to find on the internet so that, that's pretty cool put a lot of unique twist to what it is you're doing so you stand up from the crowd you can do temperature conversion convert kilometers to uh, hours uh, to um, miles per hour um, search a computer file for specific files check your external ip address random password generator username prompt grocery calculator uh, tweet search, convert to seconds. There, it's just an endless amount of options using this code. Now, 
what I showed you is just a very basic copy and paste executable code. But to to know to learn this and be able to program and do some really advanced stuff, build HMIs and and program robotics, you have to go much deeper than what I demonstrated to you. But I encourage you to do it now. One final note, and that would be. Now, I obviously we're we're an automation um, we're an automation robotics industrial controls um, channel, but there are a lot of languages that we're going to discuss that that integrate with automation. And even if they didn't, let's say for whatever reason you decide, hey, I I like this Python and I think I could get into it, but what are the um, um, let's go with top languages in 2020. I think that's what I really wanted to hit was the top programming. Python is number four of the most in demand uh, programming languages in the world. So there's no downside. You can integrate it into your controls. You can build very unique and interesting uh, applications. And you can build a skill set that makes you much more marketable in multiple disciplines and niches. All right. So anyhow, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. I really wanted you to, to introduce you to this and uh, share with you that the best place to get started is python.org. Get a start. Go to Udemy. Sign up for any Python classes. Try uh, do a little bit of looking online and explore this language. And and if if it seems like a good fit, add some Python. So if you have any questions, put them down below. If you found this video interesting and helpful, hit the bell. That way you'll be notified every time we put out a video. So until next time, this is Paul with the Logix Magazine. Hey you guys, I gotta get back to programming here. I'm gonna play around with some of this Python. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.